I recently finished reading a really great book called An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Colonel Chris Hadfield. And in this book, he talks about all that an astronaut goes through, the training, the experience, the years of dedication and hard work into becoming an astronaut. And I started then going online and just Googling some of the requirements to become an astronaut. Now, Colonel Chris Hadfield was a Canadian astronaut, so I just Googled uh, CSA, Canadian Space Agency, and they had on the website some of the requirements and the conditions for employment uh, as, as an astronaut. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of the things that I learned. Now, apart from obviously the very technical um, skills that an astronaut needs to have, the main things that an astronaut needs to have is particular soft skills, people skills, and character skills. These were critical. So when I Googled it, I looked and I saw all the essentials, you know, you know, PhD in, you know, mechanical engineering and uh, aeronautical science and uh, the whole lot. And then below that, it said, apart from those things being important, these next few items are just as important. So some of the skills was cultural competence, the ability to be able to work with people from various different backgrounds, abilities, uh, nationalities, um, skill sets. So cult cultural competence as well. Mixing freely with people from different backgrounds to yourself. The second thing was resilience. Having a never say die attitude. Just keep at it. The amount of dedication, hard work that goes into becoming an astronaut is immense. Um, it's probably the toughest job in the whole world. Uh, and, and to be able to get into a spaceship and, and launch into space, well, yes, you have to have resilience. The third thing is public speaking coupled with confidence. Astronauts give public talks, presentations, interviews every single day while they are in space and before they get to space and when they come back to space. So you've got to have a natural ability to be able to speak in public and have the confidence in what, what it is that you're saying. Now, public speaking is a skill that can be developed. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that just comes from within, but you have to, you know, be able to be really good, a good public speaker. The fifth thing is motivation. You've got to have those motivations during the ups and downs. So sometimes um, you get ready for a launch and, you know, it gets delayed or something happens or the funding runs out and you've got, so you've got to stay motivated um, to continue doing the job. Some of the things that you do as an astronaut, as I learned in reading the book, was training, non-stop training, day in, day out, training for things that might not never happen. You might never get to go to space, but you've got to be constantly training. So you've got to have the motivation to be an astronaut and everything that comes with it. The fifth skill ability is to be able to synthesize and communicate using plain language. So you've got public speaking, but then you need to be able to communicate using plain language, simple stuff. Can you explain what it is that you are going to do to a five-year-old? And sometimes that's what's important because it, there can be so many technical aspects and uh, in going into space. But when you're giving an interview, sometimes they give uh, astronauts give interview, interviews to school students, primary school kids, they need to be able to synthesize and really communicate at that level of you know a primary school kid sometimes and sometimes even adults as well so you need to be able to tell them exactly what it is that you do how you do things uh, another skill that they need is resourcefulness the ability to be able to do things find information um, access resources as well not just have everything fit to you on a, on a plate. As an astronaut, you in space, sometimes things break down. You need to be able to work out ways and means to fix it. You need to have uh, a range of uh, strategies that go with it. So you've got to be resourceful as well. The seventh one, which I've got listed down there, is emotional intelligence. Everywhere I turn at this moment in time, be it for leadership, be it for you know, being able to be good in your in your jobs and, and improving in your jobs is emotional intelligence. You have to understand your own emotions and also be able to understand the emotions of others and how to interact when you are in an emotional state and if other people are in an emotional state. That is emotional intelligence. It's a it's 
a huge topic going around right now together with cultural uh, cultural diversity as well emotional intelligence has been on uh, you know on the on the radar for quite a while and then finally you have to have integrity you have to be honest you have to be someone that people can trust because going into space people's lives are in your hand if you are the um, the, the the pilot or if you are the navigator you've got to have integrity you've got to uh, develop trust with everyone sometimes you go into space as i was reading and they spend um you know months uh chris hadfield was five months on iss the international space station and he had to build up trust with everyone when it came to various different decisions that needs to be made so it's important that you know if you want to be an astronaut or if you want to be a great leader then you possibly need to think like an astronaut and find out ways and means to develop these skills that I just shared with you today.